this is the Lord addressing Ezra the prophet. Read. And I said, Here am I, Lord. Uh huh. And I stood upon my feet. Then said he unto me, Come on. In the bush I did manifestly reveal myself. So God said, In the bush I did manifestly reveal myself unto who? Unto Moses. Unto who? Unto Moses. Unto Moses. Moses was of the tribe of Levi. Moses was a prophet that delivered our people out of slavery under Egypt. Guess what? God has stuck his prophets on the earth right now. And you're looking at him. Here to deliver you out of America. Read. Come on. And talk with him. Read. When my people served in Egypt. Right now, we serve in spiritual Egypt. America. Babylon the Great. Read. And I sent him and led my people out of Egypt. Come on. And brought him up to the Mount of Sinai. Come on. Where I held him by me as long season. Faster, come on. And told him many wondrous things. So God told Moses many wondrous things. Read. And showed him the secrets of the time. The secrets of the what? Of the time. Of the what? Of the time. So the sister said, who was back then able to document everything? God spoke to, showed Moses the secrets of the times. That's how he was able to write down Genesis. That's how he was able to write down Deuteronomy, Numbers, Leviticus, everything that happened into the beginning. Because God showed it to him. But our people don't believe in God. That's their problem. They don't believe in God. They think that the white man is so doggone powerful that even a white man can change God's words. Give me Isaiah 29, 13. I'm going to show you exactly what she learned it from. Brother, you are an Israelite according to the Bible, brother. You are God's chosen people. You are of the tribe of Judah, and God is calling you right now to repentance. This right here is not life. You got brothers over here on the corner getting drunk as hell, old as hell, about nothing. You think God wants this of us? We the children of God, and we out here on drugs. It was somebody over there that just fell out. And we think this is life. We okay with this? You gotta be out your doggone mind. Come on. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13. Some of y'all think we out here playing with y'all. We ain't playing with nobody. It's God's laws or nothing. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. Because I bet that same sister was going to the Christian church talking about she loved God, she knows God, and God knows her heart. Read. And with their lips do honor me. Uh-huh. Read. But have removed their heart far from me. God says his people has moved their hearts far from him. The heart is referring to your mind. Read. And the fear toward me. And their fear towards God or their understanding towards God. Read. Is taught by the precept of men. Who taught us Christianity? He said the fear towards God is taught by the precepts of men. What man taught us the Bible to understand that we know today? The white man did it. Remember, in slavery we could neither read nor could we write. So how the hell do we have the doctrine that Jesus is white? How the hell do we have the doctrine that God loves everybody? Why how the hell is it that we are the only people on the earth that is trying to make love to our oppressor? Our sisters are so busy trying to look like the goddamn white woman, not knowing that the white woman is the one that's trying to kill their children. Right. Setting up Planned Parenthood. And then you got silly men out here on the corner trying to lay down with them. And they'll open their legs to them. And then go around talking about men ain't nothing. No, sister, you ain't right. right. And you look for not right brothers. Bring it out. This right here, we have to stop that. Give me that Hebrews 13 and 4. Bring it out. Hebrews chapter 13 and 4. Fornication has to stop in our community. You sisters that keep opening up your legs to these lazy, low down, no good niggas, you must repent. You're going to stop that. We must come back to the commandments of God. God says what? Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Marriage is honorable and all. God says marriage is honorable and all. You hear that, brother? Let me ask you a question. Do you got a girlfriend? Not really. Do you got a woman that you're laying on? She may not be a girlfriend, but she got somebody you have to Let's see what God say. Read. Marriage is honorable and all. So God says marriage is honorable in all. As the children of God, hey, somebody watch the speaker. As the children of God, we must be held in honor. Read. And the 
bed undefiled. In the bed undefiled when you are married with a sister. All right, read. But whoremongers. But what? But whoremongers. Believe it or right. Believe it or not, you are in the midst of whoremongering right now. You are in the midst of whoremongering. God says whoremongers. Read. And adulterers. Uh huh. God will judge. Meaning what? He will put you to death. Today is your day. God is calling you to repent. In Psalms 94 16. Psalms chapter 94 verse 16. You on 47 with that shit. No good. Hey, no down ass niggas. Hey, brother. You need to learn how to calm down. Stop, stop drinking too much. It's too early for you to be out here like that. All right. We are out here for you. We out here for you. Come here. Come around here. Come around here. Come around here. Come out. You don't around the side. On the side. On the side. Come on. You too. Come here. Yeah, we're talking about low down ass niggas. Niggas that over here crack open up women's legs and want to leave them and leave them with children. That's what we talking about. God is talking about them. We ain't out here playing with nobody and we ain't scared of nobody. Understand that. Read what you got. Psalms 94 and 16. Calm down, brother. Watch your spirit. Psalms. These are the sons of God out here. Come on. Psalms. Chapter 94 and verse 16. We Is it gonna be you men back down here? God said, who's gonna rise up for me? Read. Against the evil do. Against who? Against the evil do. That's what an evil doer is. A low down, lazy Negro. Low down brothers that don't wanna marry their sisters, that don't wanna treat their sisters right, that wanna get them pregnant and leave them, that wanna give them that $200 to go get an abortion. We ain't doing that no more. Right. You understand that? We not, you're gonna stop abusing them drugs or you're gonna die when the Lord come here. We you understand that? We all taking the L together. We all live. Everybody, everybody out here is sin. Everybody, everybody out here is sin. You understand that, brother? You understand that? So whatever you're doing with the sister, you gotta stop that. All right? Everybody taking the L, big dog. We just gotta wake up. Exactly. All praise to the Father. Read it again. Who? Who? Come over here. Come deal with me, bro. You got something to say? Come on. Yeah, I got something to say. Yeah, come on. You could use a better version to talk about no good ass niggas. Hey, that's what they are, though. You that's what they are, though, ain't they? You could Is it all? Give me Hebrews 13 and 4 again. Let me show you something. Come, come here. Man. Come here. Come here. We got niggas. I'm going to show you what we are. Come on. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Come on. Marriage is honorable in all. God says marriage is honorable in all. Let me ask you a question. Are you married? Yes, I am. You married? Okay, you said you're married. God says marriage is honorable in all. Read. And the bed undefiled. Why? Because they came together under God, under union. Don't lean on the sign, all right? That's our problem. Read. But whoremongers uh -huh. and adulterers. But whoremongers. Hold on, brother. But whoremongers and adulterers. What is a whoremonger? You're wrong. Can I say something? I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. What's your question? Hold on. No, this is our platform. This is our platform. What's your question? What's your, you didn't answer my question. You ain't not giving me the mic. I'm not giving you no mic, brother. What's your question, man? What's your question? What's your question? What's your question? You call us niggas. I call everybody out here that's sleeping around with women and opening up their legs and giving them children and leaving them. Yes, they are niggas. Now, if you identified to that, then I was talking about you. What's your next question? Like I said, read it again. Bring it on. Marriage is honorable in all. God said marriage is honorable in all. If you are out here laying with women and you're not marrying them, you are what? Dishonorable. Right. You are a low down dirty Negro. What's, read. What's your religion? And the bad and the foul. And the bad and the foul. Read. But whoremongers. Come on. And adulterers. Uh huh. God will judge. You understand that, brother? God says whoremongers and adulterers. But God is calling you to repentance. Give me that, Acts 319. Acts 319, the, the commandments of God. The commandments of God. The commandments of God. I'm a, I'm a, man, trust me. All right, brother. I'm Come on. Boy, she man, the man. Acts chapter 3. That is garbage, I'm by the way. Verse 19. Yes. You don't say my release. Garbage. Repent ye therefore. God says, say, do what? Repent ye therefore. What does it mean to repent? You said my release is garbage. Moorish American is not a true religion. It was made up. It is made up. It's made up. Go talk to the dog on Ishmael and tell him you are Moorish American. You Islam. He gonna laugh you to shame. You're not Muslim. You an 
Israelite, but you refuse to keep God's commandments. Read. I'm not Israelite. Repent ye therefore. God says repent ye therefore. Meaning what? Turn away from your sins. Turn away from being a whoremonger. Turn away from being a drunkard. Turn away from being a low down, dirty, nasty Negro. You ain't got to be like that. If you was cut, cool. That's good. Change, brother. How about that? Change. Even that other little old brother over there. If you was cut to the heart, change then, Negro. Come on. And be converted. And be what? Converted. Okay. Give me what converts us. What converts us? What's your name, brother? Come here with the hoodie. With the hoodie. That's standing right here by my car. Hey, brother. Move up. You got it? Yes, sir. Read. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. Come on. The law of the Lord is perfect. God says his laws are perfect. So if anybody told you that you can't be a perfect, that you can't be perfect, that's a doggone lie. God says when you keep his commandments, you become perfect. That's right. Read. Converting the soul. Doing what? Converting the soul. That's how we become converted. We turn back to God's laws. That's how we become no more low down dirty nasty negroes right. that's how we change god is talking about change you don't have to be drunk you don't have to be on drugs you don't have to do that we ain't gotta be give me isaiah 51 and 20 really quick god got your number god got your number yes, he got you written down to the teeth we got black men out here early as hell sitting on a doggone corner getting drunk Doing nothing with their lives. Meanwhile, your own son is out there killing each other. Bring it your up. kids. Huh? Your kids. And y'all think this is life. You got your dog on mine. We ain't out here playing with nobody. Bring it up. We, Isaiah chapter 51, verse 20. Come on. Thy sons have fainted. God says his sons have fainted. Meaning what? They done lost their dog on mine. You lost consciousness. Bring it up. You had a brother that was just stumbling. He literally faded. Come on. They lie at the head of all streets. Where's the black man? They lie at the head of all the streets. Where's the black man? They lie at the head of all the streets. Where's the black man? They lie at the head of all the streets. God says the black man lie at the head of all the streets. Meaning what? He is on every street corner. Bring it getting up. drunk, selling drugs, game banging. Read. As a wild fool in a net. He called you a wild bull in the neck. You on a track trying to get out. Bucking up against us. You ain't mad at us. You mad at God. Come on. They don't give a damn what you is. Read. They are full of the fury of the Lord. They are what? They are full of the fury of the Lord. This right here on 47th in Indiana is the fury of the Lord. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth